Hey guys, how's it going? For anybody new to the channel, my name is Nadim Zogby, the Zogby Photo on Instagram. And I wanted to do a quick video today to share how I make my reels on Instagram with five landscape videos stacked together, basically. I got a lot of requests from people asking me how I did them, what the ratio was, and all that kind of stuff. And I actually really enjoyed doing the math behind it all personally. But um, in any case, I decided to create a template for anybody who uses Premiere Pro to make uh, videos for Instagram, TikTok, whatever. I created a template that you can download for free. Um, link is below in the description. And basically you can use that template to create your own videos so you don't have to figure out what the ratio is and how to crop and all that kind of stuff. Anyways, the template that I created is something that you can save and repurpose over time. Anytime you want to create one of those videos, again and again, you can recreate it using that template. So it's a pretty, you know, easy template to use, but essentially the purpose of this video is to show you how to use it. And so once you download that template, it's going to be essentially a Premiere Pro project. And this is what you'll see. So I have my main sequence. Each one of those green layers is supposed to have one of the videos that you want to have in there. And then the three pink layers up there, are th those are just adjustment layers that I, that I like to use to color correct and color grade my uh, footage before I post on Instagram. But essentially what you're going to do once you open this, either right click here and hit import or just double click in any of that open space right there and import five videos that you want to use for this reel. What I like to do personally is to have, you know, contrasting colors in between each layer. This way, you know, it's a lot more pronounced, kind of catchy in my opinion. And really the reason I do this is because I like to preserve the original, you know, landscape aspect ratio of my videos, especially when I'm taking aerial drone photography or, or videography. It's really challenging for me to crop some of these clips. So that's why I like to make some of those stacked reels every once in a while. So let's select our five clips. So what I I personally like to do because a lot of these clips are shot in 4k or 5.1k on the Mavic 3 classic and that's a lot to handle even on a on a beefy um, PC so I create proxies for all my videos I could do an entire other video on creating proxies and, and working with proxies and why you should work with proxies um, but I have already created proxies for these, um, so we're going to go ahead and attach the proxies that I have created. And so now we have the five clips that we want to use. You'll want to figure out where you want to start and end your clips. Typically, I like to make sure that there's no sudden movements in the middle of a video where the in and out points are. And so we'll just do here and then we can end it right around here for this one. This one is a lateral movement with the drone, so we'll do that. See how the drone is not moving here, so we'll want to start it right when the movement starts. There we go. This one is just flying straight ahead, so I'm going to start right around here. Perfect. About nine seconds. We might have to slow this one down depending on how long we want to make the overall reel. This one is a top down that goes ahead Oh, with a nice little reveal as well, so we can start right here. We'll end it like right around here. And then this one, also just straight ahead. That was a beautiful, beautiful sunrise in Newport Beach, as you can see. Here we go. We'll stop it like right there. Perfect. So now that we have our clips in and out points selected and everything, what you want to do is open up each one of the five layers right here. So the beauty about this template is that you literally don't have to figure out anything about the ratios or anything like that. All you have to do is make sure that the clip that you want to put in that layer fills up the entire screen. I've taken care of the rest for you. So double click on layer one and all you're going to do is import the first video you want to use on that bottom layer. So let's say this is the one we want to use. We'll put it right here. We want to make sure that it does take up the entire screen by changing the scale. And so all you have to do is either drop down there, click on that button, and then keep going over until you see the entire screen filled up. So that's perfect. What you can play around with is that position. 
So you can move it up or down. So for every one of those clips, you're gonna have a little bit of your top and bottom part that are gonna be cropped. That's the only way for them to be stacked evenly on a uh, 1080 by 1920 aspect ratio, which is what you wanna use for Instagram and other social media platforms. And so you can move around the, the sliders here to figure out where exactly you want it to be positioned. I kind of like to show a little bit more of the sky personally. So we'll do that here and that's it. So now when you go back to your main sequence, you have your first layer filled. It's perfectly filled exactly in the dimensions that it needs to be. And we'll go to layer number two. Like I said earlier, I, I personally like to keep the colors of each layer pretty contrasting. And so if I put an orange clip at the bottom, I'll put a blue one above it, so on and so forth. But same thing here, you can see there's the black side. So all we wanna do is increase the scale slider. And here we go, that's our second one. One thing to notice, by the way, right here, layer two, you can see there's those marks at the end of the video. It means that there's no clip, there's no like footage at that point in the sequence. And so what we wanna do in layer two is probably slow down this video and you'll have to figure out what frame rate you shot at. Here I shot at 50 frames per second, so I can slow it down by 50%. So we'll do that, slow it down by 50%, and this way we can fill in the rest of that clip for, for layer two. So going back to layer three, let's pick another one of our orange. Make sure that we adjust the scale so that it fits. There we go, drop show a little more of the sky here. So let's go to layer four. We'll put our other blue layer, and this is where we had our in and out points. And let's go ahead and slow this one down as well and adjust the scale. I believe these were all shot at 5.1K, and so the scale that it needs to be at is 21.1 or 21.2 to fill the entire um, 1080 width. And then go back here, you see we have our nice stack right there. And layer five, here we go, almost done. We'll put our last orange clip right there. This one's pretty long, so I don't think we need to slow that down anymore. All we have to do is make sure that we adjust our scale. And here you go, there you have it. That's how I do my stacked reels. I hope you find it easy to use and beneficial. The reason I like to have it this way is, like I said, number one, you don't have to figure out the the scale and position for each clip individually is already done through that nested layer that I have stacked right here myself. And all you have to do is import the clips that you wanna use, add them to each layer individually, and then adjust the scale so that it fills up the entire video within each one of those layers and then you're good to go. So you can shoot in 4K, you can shoot in 5.1K, whatever it is you shoot in. Um, you won't have to figure out that math and, and, and worry about how to center it in your sequence and whatnot. Um, the other reason I like to have the nested sequences that are stacked right here is that you can color correct and color grade each clip individually. And that's pretty helpful, especially if you're not using clips that you've shot, you know, on the same day or during the same time of day or whatever the case may be. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. I would really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching and um, see you next time.